Hello YouTube, this is Fairy Tale Chapter 492 review, and this chapter was pretty good to me. Now I just want to say there was a lot of fan service in this chapter. I mean that's normal for a fairy tale chapter. I don't know if it was just me, but I noticed there was kind of more fan service in this chapter. I mean, it was nothing like one of those chapters where it was just like all fan service, but there was, for a serious chapter, there was a lot of fan service, but then again, it is fairy tale. And the one thing I want to say is there were three things in this chapter that I just absolutely, I was like, this is great. Now, I, I kind of, I just want to go ahead and talk about them. And, okay, one, the first one is the part with Gaggio being back, and that's just gonna be awkward, okay? Because, first of all, Levy already knows, like, Gaggio loves her, so th that's gonna be weird when Gaggio meets up. I mean, if it was just me, like, if I said a speech like that, and I thought I was gonna die, I would be fine if I died. But if I, if I stayed alive, I'd be like, oh, shoot, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> I would be like, oh, crap, I should have never said that. And I have a feeling that Godzilla's kind of going to be the same way. He's going to be like, ah, oh, crap, I thought I was going to die. I thought it was going to be cool when I said that, but now it's going to be awkward. So that's how I feel like the Godzilla feels like, or at least that's how I would feel like. I'd be like, oh, crap. But... <laughs> I mean, that's just me, and I actually am sorry, I actually have four major things in this chapter. Now, the other major thing that I really did like was Mira Jane's new Satan soul. Now, she has tons of new Satan souls, because apparently, when Tartarus was going down, she absorbed them all, so I'm interested to see all the new Satan souls she has, but this one is pretty cool, and it took down a lean squad, and it seems to have like the power to absorb water or something like that and we actually find out that a lean squad is basically they were just swords that had enchantments on them from a lean so Mira Jane is screwed and now one of the other things that was major for me in this chapter was Aline and Mira Jane standing there because Mira Jane has like no magic power because she was drained from her saint soul and Aline's just standing there like oh you you have a lot of magic power yeah I want to fight you but now that Mira Jane doesn't have any magic power left because she used her saint soul or she's drained of it she, she still has magic power but she's drained of it Aline is gonna basically destroy her, so someone's gonna have to show up, or there's something, like, something's gonna have to happen, maybe Mira Jane is gonna stall her for just a few seconds, or maybe Gildart is gonna show up. Now, I know I say this every time something like this happens, maybe Gildart's gonna show up, but Gildart, he's just a savage, bro. Like, there's, I don't even have to say for Gildart. I, I don't even have to say. You all know why I want Gildart. Everyone, I'm assuming, wants Gildarts in this war. Because previously, in the previous arcs, Gildarts was too strong, probably, for people. I mean, maybe in Tartarus, you could have added him. Because, you know, he could have probably done some damage in Tartarus. But Grand Magic Games, he would have been too OP. Uh, the previous arcs, he would have been too OP. I know he was in Tenro Jima, but he didn't really do much besides fight against Blue Stinger. And, well, I mean, he... I mean, he was even with him, but then again, that was like eight years ago. So now he's way more powerful, and ooh, I, I just want to see him in this war because the great, like a good matchup, a great matchup actually, would be Aline, or August, or Agnologia, or Sheriff. I'm just saying, like, I want this guy to fight somebody, and he's got to fight somebody. Now, I could go on for days about Guild Arts, so I'm going to stop right here and talk about the fourth major thing in this chapter, which was probably one of my favorite parts in this chapter, and it was with Elfman, was with Yukino and Fro, and uh, I forgot the other, uh, <laughs> I forgot the other cat's name for a minute, my mind went blank, but Angel, Angel was walking, and I, I could have called, I don't know if I called this in my reviews, but when I was watching Fairy Tale and I saw Yukino, I was like, alright, that is Angel's sister, and boy, I was right. Now, this got me hyped. 
the first time I read it, I read it a second time, but the first time I read it, I was like, oh, oh, I called it, I called it, and I was like, bravo, hero, bravo, I mean, I don't know, to me, that, that was just amazing, and that's gonna be a thumbnail, because that was my favorite part of the chapter. Now, you may be thinking I'm using that thumbnail for fan service and clickbait, but that's bullcrap, because that was my favorite part of the chapter, and that's why I'm doing it. And for those who watched my uh, live stream of me actually coloring uh, Angel in the background, I put a lot of effort into it. I don't like to brag on myself, but I, I put a good three hours of effort into that, and I wasn't doing it for perv, like pervy, I don't know how to say I wasn't doing it pervertedly. I was doing it because that was my favorite part of the chapter, and I wanted that to be the thumbnail. Now, other people could say otherwise, and you could think otherwise. I mean, I don't care, but that that was the reason why it's the thumbnail is because this, or it's the favorite part of the chapter, and that's all I'm going to say. Now, this chapter, I would probably want to give it a 7.5 or 8 out of 10. I mean, there are really four major things that I did like. I've stated them, and the other stuff, it was just kind of a lot of dialogue and talking and funny moments, kind of. Um, there was one funny moment, it was at the beginning of the chapter, where they were trying to figure out who Zara was, and they are like, how do we know to trust this voice? And Natsu was like, I don't care, let's just go to the guild. I thought that was funny. And as we know, Gaju started talking, and that was one of the major things I mentioned, and how it's going to kind of be awkward for Levi and Gaju. So that's uh, one thing. Also, one thing I want to mention before I close this review up, is that only fairy tale members could hear Zara? So I kind of I don't know if I stated that in uh, previous reviews of kind of like a theory, but now it is now confirmed. So that's pretty cool. I get it's the same thing with like uh, Mavis. The fairy tale members can only see Mavis, which that will change now because it, Mavis isn't her real body. So. There we go. Anyways, like I said, this chapter is 7.5 or 8 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Hope I didn't keep it for too long. Anyways, guys, leave a like. Comment down below. Tell me what you thought of this chapter. Tell me how I did on my review. Tell me if you liked the thumbnail as well. Anyways, guys, have a nice day. Subscribe for more. Xeno is out.